do learn from and amplify the voices of those who have been historically marginalized and use the privilege you have in order to push for systemic change. As white people, we have a lot to learn and unlearn. You've heard me say for a long time that cell phone service with Pure Talk is half the cost of Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. You hear just $20 a month for unlimited talk, text, and plenty of data. And you might be thinking, what's the catch? There's no way Pure Talk can offer cell phone service that doggone cheap. I say just ask a thousand of listeners who have already switched. They are loving that they're on America's most dependable 5G network. They love Pure Talk's U.S. customer service and their selection of premium phones. So what are you waiting for? It's time to start supporting companies who share our values, like creating American jobs and supporting our veterans. It's time to switch your cell phone service to Pure Talk Plus with no contract and a 30-day money-back guarantee. You have nothing to lose. Dial pound 250 and say Brandon Tatum, and you will save 50% off your first month. Again, dial pound 250 and say Brandon Tatum to start saving now on your cell phone plan. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, did y'all see this Zoom call? There's been a whole bunch of Zoom calls that's been cringy, but I have never in my life seen something as cringy as this. Now, just looking at it, uh, Megan Rapino and that other and that other nasty one, uh, they in this clip, I don't know nobody else's name, but this fool right here, white people, Listen to me. Stop it. You stop it right now. Put it down. I got to tell my kid, you stop it right now. You stop this right now. Stop patronizing black people. I don't, I don't, I don't know what y'all thinking. Like, this is offensive. That white people got to come together to save the Negro. Oh, you know, we, we're so much better than the ends. And so, listen, we have to come together to help these ends because they can't read. They can't get a driver's license. They don't know how to operate a computer. Let's say, let's the white savior come together and get these ends an opportunity to win. Listen to what she say. Listen to what she say. Roll the clip. And she got a social media following, and she's the cringiest person on planet Earth. Wrote a clip. Ariel Fodar, affectionately known as Mrs. Frazzle, to her combined audience of over 1.5 million followers, is here to help gentle parent us through this election. <laughs> this gotta be <laughs> this gotta be a parody, bro. They they, they for real. Look at this girl. <laughs> she like really making these faces, bro. She really feeling this. This is her moment. Listen to her moment. <laughs> 1.5 million followers is here to help gentle parent us through this election. Gentle parent us. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everybody. I am so honored to speak today. I am like shaking to just be among such incredible company. Um, we are here because as if you were here earlier, you've heard BIPOC women have tapped us in as white women to step up, listen, and get involved this election season. This is a really important time and we all need to use our voices and influence for the greater good. No matter who you are, you are all influencers in some way. So tonight, I'm going to share some do's and don'ts for getting involved in politics online and navigating the toxicity that comes with it. And spoiler alert, as much as the toxicity can come from the outside, it can come from us too. So first, don't isolate yourself. We can do our best work when we're in community together like we are tonight because the toxic feels smaller when we support each other. But don't make it about yourself. <laughs> As white women, we need to use our privilege to make positive changes. If you find yourself talking over or speaking for BIPOC individuals or God forbid, correcting them, just take a beat. And instead we can put our listening ears on. Oh my God, bro. Is she talking to retarded people or is she talking to, to kids? What the, what is this even? Let me play it again. Yeah, I think some of y'all missed it. Wrote a clip. And correcting them, just take a beat. And instead, we can put our listening ear to POC individuals or, God forbid, if you find yourself talking over or speaking for BIPOC individuals or, God forbid, correcting them, just take a beat. 
and instead we can put our listening ears on. So do learn from and amplify the voices of those who have been historically marginalized and use the privilege you have in order to push for systemic change. As white people, we have a lot to learn and unlearn. So do check your blind spots. You are responsible for your algorithm, believe it or not. I want to just jump out of a window. Or I want Jesus to come get us. Come on, get us, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. These people are crazy. Imagine if they ran the country. You, you, you have to have never been around a black person a day in your life to think like this woman. We have to use our privilege. So you guys are saying you're better than black people. Like, I just don't get it. Who has more influence, this white woman or Megan Thee Stallion? This white woman or Cardi B? This white woman or Michelle Obama? Like, what world y'all living in? I think these white people believe they better than the, than the top black people. Like, I think she thinks she got more influence than Oprah Winfrey. Oprah ain't got nothing on this white girl. She need to use her influence. <laughs> Even Dwayne, you know, uh, uh, The Rock, he considered black. He's the biggest, most influential person in the world. He has the most followers on social media out of anybody in the world. But we need the little white girl that teaches special ed kindergarten classes. Nothing against special ed teaching. But she's talking down to people like they little babies. They don't know what's going on. But we need her to exercise her influence along with all these other white people that nobody ever heard of. Because they're they the ones that really have the power. The dumb Negro have no power. Just these white women. The white man has no power. He's a part of the patriarchy. It, the world will be saved by Karens. The Karens united. It is so in, embarrassing to listen to white folks try to tell black people how they should live. Joe Biden said, if you don't know who you vote for, you ain't black. What's the, what's the dummy in Michigan? Gretchen Whitmer said, Black kid, no, it ain't Gretchen Whitmer. It was the dummy in New York, wherever her name is. Said black kids don't even know how to use a computer, don't know what a computer is. Kathy Hochul, don't even know what a computer is. It's crazy to me. Now, I know black people can be silly, and some of them can be dumb and crazy. But on average, black people are in the middle class. The average black person lives in the middle class. The average black person actually has an education. Now, it may not be a college degree, but it's an education. And you don't need a college, college degree to be smart. All my college degree did was networking and me playing football. I, didn't, I don't remember nothing I did in college. None of that stuff. None of that math, none of that nothing. Uh, social cal I, I did social, uh, what was it, social calculus or something, I, one of my math classes I had to finish. It's some, what was that class? Social statistics. Yeah, social statistics, social calculus. You know I don't remember nothing there. Social, social statistics. I think I got to be in that class. I don't remember none of that. None of it. It didn't matter. It was, if I had to pay for that, I'd have wasted all my money. But it was free. So that's why I got the, the, the brand new books, too. I, they say, it's free. I go get the brand new books. I never used them. I ain't even open the book. So, but anyway. I'll just, just to put this in perspective. Oh, we got a new shirt that just came out. We got the new shirt. I got to put it on the screen. Thank you, brother. See my boy Jarrell just whooping him down. He whooping him in the kitchen, cooking. In the kitchen, cooking. In the kitchen, cooking. Trump, J.D. Vance. Lights out. Nobody got a shirt this far. Lights out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the subject at hand. They, they on here thinking that black people can't do nothing. And black people buy into it. These white people tell them, you, you ain't never going to beat nothing without us. Yeah, Massa. Yeah, Massa. Massa. Whatever you want, Massa. That's crazy to me, man. Y'all need to stop letting these white folks think they, they, that they better than black people. Look, you are only as good as your efforts and your faith in God. I said it. You can quote it. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out.